Drinking water is one of the best refreshments in the world. But the other day, I heard that there was a drought in the Western Cape of South Africa. This worried me so much because when I think of a drought, I think of something a little like this. <laughs> Obviously, that wasn't the case. But what it simply meant was that the amount of water in the Western Cape worried scientists very, very much. Scientists who study the amount of water are called hydrologists or hydrologists that study water quantity. When you look at the Western Cape on a map, you see that it's right there near the ocean. So I thought to myself, maybe they should just go get their water there. But another hydrologist told me that not all water is ready to drink, especially ocean water. So I went to the Central University of Technology to find out more, to ask them, how does it work? Let's see what happened. Today on How Does It Work, we're here at the Central University of Technology to learn about water. How does it work? How do they clean it? What does it mean when they say we must save water? We're going to ask Liana and Oke about it all to learn about how does it work. Let's see what happens. Hi Liana. <laughs> so, um, can you please just explain to me the work that you do? Well, water is described in quantity and quality and for me, I want to know what is the quality of the water. As humans, we need to drink and use a lot of water, but the water that we drink must be clean. If we consume water that's got a lot of pollutants in it, then we can become very sick. I'm sure you all know about diarrhea and the honey tongue. Yeah. A sure sign of something that we drink. Okay, so what makes a sick in water? It can be because there's microorganisms in water. Microorganisms is those little small fighties, for bananas that we see, we can't see them, right? We know they can be in the water, they can come from dirty hands or from the environment. Or physical stuff in the water, for example, like water, um, leaves, tree trunks, things like that, or chemicals in the water. And if we pollute our environment, our water will be more polluted, so we have a bigger risk. I can definitely see that that one is not drinking water. But that one looks very, very clean. Is it clean? The problem with especially chemicals and microbiology is that the chemicals dissolve into water, so you won't be able to see. Sometimes you can smell it, oh. but many of these contaminants in the water you cannot see. Microorganisms, those bugs that make us sick, we cannot see them. They are so, so small. So, we cannot just by looking at water know if water is clean or not. We need to do some tests. And clean water for humans and clean water for animals is not the same. We need water that's of a higher standard, more clean, where when you irrigate your garden or the water that your dog may be drinking can be a little bit less clean. Okay, okay, I've, I've heard you telling us that you specialized with how much water we have. And why do they always tell us to save water, save water the whole time? Yeah, we need to save the water because the amount of water we have in the world mm -hmm. is fixed. Okay. It goes through water cycle, okay. through the sea, the rainfall, overland flow, to the rivers, to groundwater, and it keeps moving around like that. Mm -hmm. In fact, and that's what we call the water cycle, in fact, the amount of water we have in the world that is fresh for us to drink and use is 2.5% of the Wait, water oh, we have in the world. Two and a half percent of everybody uses that two and a half percent. Yes. And out of this two and a half percent, thirty percent of it is locked up in the groundwater. Okay. While the glacier, the ice okay. in the northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, they locked up about sixty eight percent of the water. Our rivers, where the municipality supplies us water, just have one point two percent of this okay. water. While the ocean has 96 percent and it's not drinkable. Sure, okay, that, that is absolutely scary. But then what, what's the solution? What do you do? The solution is to look at the water at different components and bring them together, which we call the integrated water resources management. Okay, big words. <laughs> but okay. Yeah. yeah, in integrated resources management, we use our rainwater, we use our grey water, 
we use our groundwater and we use our surface water. When we say surface water, they are into our rivers and lakes and what have you. So we have to see where can we get how much of this water. Now the problem comes with how do we tap this water? How do we measure this water? How, how do we know the amount of water that we have? Yes, because all of a sudden we would start drinking a lot of water and wasting it and in fact it's actually very little. So For example, have... like in, 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 in the Karoo in South Africa, which is about two thirds of the country, when we say Karoo, it means the geology mm -hmm. of the area where the groundwater is locked up. To get water here is very, very tight. Mm -hmm. The same thing in basement complex in Africa or in the glaciers, areas around the world. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you have to use the principle of geophysics okay. to detect how much water is there, if the water is available. Mm -hmm. Then you will now use pump tests to pump out this water to know how much is there. Now let's watch as Liana does one of the many tests they do to test water quality. I'm going to do a free chlorine test for you. This test is to determine if the water has been chlorinated. Chlorinated is an indication for us if the water is being disinfected to kill the bad organisms in the water for us when we want to drink the water. And here, after the test, we can see there's a low level, just 0.4, but it indicates that this water was treated, so you can be rest assured and drink the water from your municipality. Shoo! Sure. Yana, yeah, we learned a lot today. We learned about water quality and water quantity. We also learned that scientists who deal with water are called hydrologists. Thank you so much for watching the videos every single week. We appreciate you and let's hope 2019 will be a great year of learning. See you!